We've had a lot of jobs in the service industry. Anyone work in the service industry here tonight? Besides the people that obviously work in the service industry? I didn't mean the musicians, I meant the actual bartender. <laughs> gotcha. But uh, I've had a lot of jobs in the service industry, and it's just, it's not fun. I hate, I just don't like working in restaurants. It's a tough setup, right? Because you get there, you're starving, I'm working, so I hate you. <laughs> It's Sunday brunch, so we're both hungover, but let's be honest, I work in the service industry. When am I not hungover? And then before I can tell you about the gluten-free menu, you cut me off, and you're like, I need, and you're like, I need a Bloody Mary stat. And I'm like, I hear that, girlfriend. And you're like, what? I'm like, sorry, sir. I'll be back with the Bloody Mary. <laughs> Then I go and I get you the Bloody Mary, and then you go, I need an egg sandwich stat, and I go and I get the egg sandwich, and then I come back to the table, and you're like, hey, sorry, is the bread gluten-free? And I'm like, well, if I could have told you about the gluten-free menu, but also, I don't know. <laughs> so then I go into the kitchen, I go, hey, guys, is the bread gluten-free? And they're like, Will, you've worked here for five years. <laughs> when are you going to learn the menu? And the answer is I'm just not going to. <laughs> so I come back, and I lie to you, and I say, I'm so sorry, but the bread's not gluten-free. And you go, that's okay. I want a uh, eggs Benedict, hollandaise sauce on the side. And I'm like, hollandaise sauce on the side? That is a sociopath kind of order, whatever I work for you. So then I go and I put the order in, then it comes out, and you call me over the table and you say, I'm so sorry, but this is cold. And you're not wrong, because they just sent the one that was sitting up from the last order I fucked up. So then before I go and I tell the kitchen about it, I go into the linen closet and I grab the handgun I've been hiding in case my manager finally pushes me too far. And then I hold the cold steel against my head and I say, Is today the day? But it's not that day. So then. Perfect. <laughs> oh, so, so then I go into the kitchen and I tell them that they, oh my god, I don't even know where I'm at anymore. <laughs> so then I go in the kitchen and I say, hey guys, it said the eggs Benedict is cold. And the chef, he goes down in the freezer and he grabs the handgun he's been hiding in the Brussels sprouts. And he says, it's today the day I kill Will Abel's but it's not that day. So he leans down, he grabs a bottle of whiskey labeled Daddy's Juice, and he takes a swig of it. Now he's feeling good. And he goes up in the kitchen and goes, I need an Eggs Benedict on the fly in the kitchen. Cheers. And I come out, and I'm like, hey, guys, uh, that Eggs Benedict's going to be right out. Next round of Bloody Marys, that's on me. And all of a sudden, you finally like me. But now I'm watching how much you're drinking, and I decide you've uh, consumed enough vodka on the Lord's Day, because it is Sunday after all. And so I push you guys to finally close out, and I hear one of you say, hey, let's just split the check, and I'll leave the tip in cash. Now I have to hope that you know that it's 20% on the entire bill, and that's not 18, it's 20% on the entire bill, it's not 18, on the entire bill. <laughs> and it turns out you do know that, or you're just very bad at math, because you leave 30% in cash. And I look at the cash, and I look at you, and I look at the cash, and I look at you, and I go, Oh my God! Thank <laughs> you so much! <laughs> and you're like, of course, you were fantastic. What was your name? I'm like, yeah! And you're like, great job, Gil. And I'm like, <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> That's tough to do every day, you know? <laughs> That's just brunch. First job I had when I moved to Nashville, I was driving for DoorDash. I was dashing it out there. Any dashers? All right, the rest of you billionaires, I assume. <laughs> but I was driving for DoorDash, and it took me 10 days. It took me 10 days here in Nashville before I had a guy named Bubba offer me a cash tip for his Chick-fil-A, but I could only get the tip if I came inside his house and got it. Did I go? Yes. 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 No, I obviously didn't. No. I would not be with you right now. That guy is the Dasher Slasher. He has bodies in his basement. But again, it's a job where I'm working for tips. And it's just, it's just tough. I hate working for tips because I gotta trust you, you know? And even when you get like a good tip, it usually means something wild's about to happen. Right? Like when I had that like 30% cash, you know? So I'm like looking at that cash and I'm feeling the best I've ever felt in my entire life. So I tell my manager I'm gonna take my 15 so I can go outside and rub it all over my face. I might even eat a little bit of it because I'm balling now. But then before I go, I go back to the linen closet and I grab the handgun so I can fire it in the air in triumph. <laughs> and then as I'm walking through the kitchen to go out the back door, that's when a bunch of ICE agents break in. And like the kitchen staff scatters because it's a kitchen in New York and not a diner in Wyoming. <laughs> but then I realize I'm the only one standing there with a gun. <laughs> and 
like these guys in the kitchen staff, like these are my brothers in arms. So I have a decision to make. So I start taking out the ICE agents one by one and I'm holding a gun like this because I've never held a gun before. And I'm not shooting to kill, but I ain't shooting to miss neither. So I subdue the targets and I start walking out the back door and over my shoulder I yell out, Viva Mexico! And the line cook Felipe's like, I'm Colombian, you dick. <laughs> But like now I'm a fugitive on the run. Your tip money only takes me as far as Bokes Bar, Pennsylvania before I run out and have to turn myself in. So I go into a Panera Bread where I want to get a half sandwich, half salad. Which, yeah, that sounds like a simple meal, but you know what? I used to be a simple guy before I started working in the service industry. And then as I put the order in and I contemplate what's about to happen, I lock eyes with the girl and we fall madly in love. And she's got her daddy's credit card and nothing to lose. And we just go on the run together. I don't know why, but I love it. The problem is we have a credit card. So every time we swipe it, they just find out where we are. So then we go all the way down to the Grand Canyon, which, yeah, that does sound like a dead end, but I'm going to propose to her with the engagement ring I took from the Lost and Found, which, yeah, I know Carol wanted it, but also I called dibs 90 days ago, so it's now mine, Carol. And then the cops have us surrounded. And in a last-ish effort, I yell out, it wasn't me, it was the one-armed man. And they're like, that's a dated reference. And I'm like, so are your police tactics. <laughs> and they're like, burn, because, you know, I'm just doing this job to try and be a comedian, you know what I mean? <laughs> but then instead of turning ourselves in, we jump back in the car and we spin the car around. And I say, you into the end, babe? She goes, I'm into the end, babe. And we start driving towards the cliff's edge. But then I, I, you know, as the dust kicks up, I push her out because she's pregnant with my unborn child. And you know, he's got a legacy to fulfill. And so she, so she makes her escape and I keep driving towards that cliff's edge and a tear comes to my eye because today is that day, but I'm going out on my terms and I go flying over the cliff's edge and then right before impact, I remember that you asked for hollandaise sauce on the side, and I still gave it to you as is twice. And like, you still tip 30%, and it's like, wow, there really are good people out there. And then just. <laughs> 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 That's just tough to do day in and day out. You know? it's, it's tiring, it's exhausting. <laughs>